Today we are headed somewhere very special. I'm excited to bring you along with me to a very unique place. Hopefully I wore the right shoes because we might get a little muddy, but that's all good. It's springtime in Northwest Arkansas from the video a couple weeks ago we shot. I wanted to tell you about this, but I thought I should keep it a surprise. So come with us to one of Northwest Arkansas's most unique places. I don't think there's anywhere like this. Uh, at least in our state, but definitely not in our area. What's going on, my friends? We are out here at the True Colors Tulip Farm with Miss Kelly Jensen. Kelly, thanks for having us out here today. I really appreciate it. We appreciate it. Yeah, so we're a little chilly today. You know, it, it is still early spring. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we're out here is we're talking about tulips. Yes, right? yes. So tell me a little bit about, if you would, what what is True Colors Tulip Farm? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. So um, I am a co-founder of a nonprofit called Perspectability. And Perspectability was founded by mothers of children who are neurodiverse, okay. who um, recognize the significant gaps in opportunities and resources for adults with differences. Um, and those, those gaps look like housing opportunity, employment opportunity, continuing education, independent living. Um, and those are some significant gaps that we wanted to address so earlier you were saying about some, I don't want to say disability because that's not necessarily correct, is it? Um, I mean, it, it is correct, but language is incredibly important mm -hmm. in how we address someone. Okay. Um, language is important because it can add to a disability or it can be empowering, right? So when we talk about neurodiverse, you know, there's not one brain, right? There's not one type of brain we're all different and we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses that's right. and that's what makes the world go round so when we utilize language like neurodiverse that's really empowering our differences and learning from them this kind of helped from that birth what you guys are doing here yeah. so 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 uh, i have to ask why tulips well, so when we were sitting down together and we formed this nonprofit, we have a powerful and important mission to educate the public on these significant gaps, but also to be part of the solution. How do we, one, bring awareness to this incredible mission? And two, how do we fund it? Right. And that is how True Colors Farm was born. So we had this land and we're like, okay, what, what can we do with this? While all of us are still working a full-time job and tending to our families, you know, how can we do this? So tulips became the answer. Um, we wanted to provide something beautiful, something that Northwest Arkansas doesn't have. We are the first UPIC tulip farm and the only nonprofit tulip farm in Northwest Arkansas. So a beautiful place to come, see all different colors, all different species of tulips. And that was by design yeah. um, because it makes such a beautiful place. Um, the farm is important because we don't want people to come thinking they just came to a beautiful tulip farm. Sure. We want them to see that we hire inclusively, we pay a fair wage, which is something that's not abundantly available right now. Um, we want the interactions to be positive and we want visitors to go back where they live, work and play and see how they can be more inclusive in their daily lives. And we also want to provide and teach employable skills to our employees so that they can go on mm -hmm. and gain new skills and create authentic relationships. Oh, that's fantastic. That's awesome. So Kelly, I help people relocate here to Northwest Arkansas and you know, maybe they're moving here. How can how can they help get involved into what you have going on here? Absolutely, come to the Tulip Farm. So we are um, in season in the month of April. Mm -hmm. We are going to be open Thursday through Sunday from 10 to six. Um, it's $5 per person over five, $2 per tulip. We're going to send you into our wrapping station and create a beautiful bouquet for you to leave with. And we can't do this tulip farm without the help of volunteers. So in October, we hand plant with the help of the community over 100,000 tulip bulbs. Holy cow. Yeah, and you know- What'd you say earlier, tulip tired? There is nothing like tulip tired. And one thing that's so incredible about October and planting season is we just post out on our socials, like, hey guys, come and help us. Our first year, it took us about a week to plant them all. Um, our second year, it took us a day and a half. This year, it took us five hours to plant wow. by hand over 100,000 tulip bulbs. And that just shows the support of our community. And the tulip is from? The some, Netherlands. The Netherlands. Direct from the Netherlands. Okay, so your tulips are direct from the Netherlands. They travel a long journey to get home to Northwest Arkansas. So now, they're starting to pop up and I see some yeah. color here and there, but now do you have them all like the Netherlands where like here's the red, here's the yellow, here's the green, or do you kind of mix them all up? Mix them up. We've done that in the past where we had specific, but instead we have them bloom forward. So we have early, mids, and late. So the field is okay. kind of coming towards you. Nice. Um, and it's white, 
possibly the most perfect office view ever when you're standing in the middle of 100,000 different colors and different species. Kelly, is it true that once you pick a tulip and you put it in a vase that it continues to grow afterward? It does a little bit. Um, it'll last, our tulips will last also um, just over a week. And we learned from one of our visitors that if you take an old penny that still has copper in it, okay. and you put it in the base of your vase, that it also keeps the vibrancy and the health of the flower a little bit longer. Really, so if you have a penny from like 1904. Exactly, yeah, it, it might hang help. on to it. So my family and I are on our way out to the tulip farm. We're hungry, we have to use the restroom, we want entertainment, mm -hmm. uh, we want to take photos. Ready, set, go. What was it? What do I got to yes, do? Yes, absolutely. So come on in and park. One of our employees is going to welcome you at the gate and give you a bucket and thank you for coming. Um, we're going to give you a little lesson on how to pick the tulip because you don't need any tools. You're just going to use your hands. It's very simple. Um, and then once you pick your bouquet, you can go into our wrapping station. We're going to wrap a beautiful bouquet for you and you'll check out there. But we want you to spend as much time as possible here. So we will have benches throughout for you to hang out. Um, please bring a picnic and bring your picnic blanket yeah. and have some lunch. Um, we will have a, a food truck this year. Please take all the selfies and pictures and share them on socials because we truly enjoy getting to go back and look through that. Um, this year we have an exciting addition to the farm. It is called the Tulip Train. All right. There's a family that built this train car um, when their children were little. So they donated it to us to Perspectability. So um, it'll be $5 per car and we'll be taking kids around on the Tulip Train cool. on Saturdays and Sundays. So we're really looking forward to um, being able to have this train. It, it has such a history and to get to continue that on, we're excited. Who do they contact next year when they want to kind of get ahead of the game to be able to take photos? Yes, absolutely. So there is a photography group um, on our Facebook page, True Colors Farm Photographers, and we will announce those dates early in the season okay. next spring. What's and next season look like? Like, is that like February, March, or when, when does that get announced? Mm, so we announce those usually in January, okay. um, and they book up really, really quickly because we only have about three weeks of tulip season. So we close the farm at six, and uh, professional photographers can rent out the farm and have their, you know, their photography here. And that's really cool to have those pictures um, on our socials as well. When people come here, they create more of an event. Just they don't come and they just snap a couple tulips and then they take off. Mm -hmm. They're here to spend some time. Absolutely, and we really enjoy that. We um, take pride in getting the opportunity to visit with every single customer that comes to this farm and explain our passion and our mission. We have all sorts of little things throughout the farm. We have had proposals out here. That's really special, yeah. People bring all sorts of animals. So we have had a baby goat. We have had a baby duck. We have had a cat on a leash. Oh, wow. Um, and obviously all the dogs, which makes my heart really happy. Um, one moment that's really, really special for me is we have a lot of support from Bentonville West High School. My son is a graduate from there. And we also have a lot of support from assisted living facilities. And one of the really cool things is when those two happen at the same time, so in October, we have those same groups coming together and planning together. Mm -hmm. And then they come out together in the spring and see the rows that they actually got to plant. And cool. so those are some really special events that we have here. It's absolutely the most beautiful three weeks of the year. Are you planning on expanding? Are you planning on keeping it kind of where it is now? Are you planning on, hey, next year it's three million bolts? Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> I would love that. Um, so currently we have 10 acres. However, we would like more land. So we are actually on the hunt for a minimum of 15 acres to move to our next step in our mission, grow the tulip farm, but also to start on our residential neighborhood. And that is something very important to us. So we are definitely- What if they know a good realtor? You know, it'd be really fantastic if we knew a great realtor that could help us locate about 15 acres in this area, yeah. So our Transition Academy looks like a two-year, 24-7 educational setting for adults post high school with differences. And these are focusing on independent living skills, job skills, um, social skills, all these things to just better your adult life, yeah. right? Um, and then after that, a residential neighborhood. I know that my son wants to own his own home. Cool. Um, there is a reality factor here that I'm not going to live forever. And, you know, I need to help my son secure his best future, the future that he, he desires, not just what's available to him. And that's really important for the community to understand is that there are really limited resources and opportunities for adults with differences and we want to be part of that solution. So having a residential neighborhood that is not a separate segregated neighborhood, but an inclusive neighborhood for all types of people that want to live there, that's safe, that offers permanency um, and pride. So um, we would love to have 
more than 15 acres, mm -hmm. um, but we have our eye on 15 acres. We can use about five acres to start our subdivision. And, and ideally we could grow from there. That is phenomenal. And what a future. So you've got the transition housing, you have the tulip farm. Are there other parts of your foundation that you're trying to grow as well? Um, those would be the no three. No pun intended. I mean, no, tulip thing. I love that you mentioned the word grow and you used it as, as a pun because this year we wanted to create a new t-shirt. So this has been our t-shirt for two seasons and we asked the public, hey, design our new t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And um, a young lady, 14 years old, designed with the help of her therapist during a therapy session, our design, and I can't wait, I wish I had it to share today, but the theme this year is grow, to grow the tulip farm, to grow the awareness to the community of what we are trying to do. And we just want there to be an abundance of opportunities for all types of adults. So the Transition Academy and housing, um, and who knows what we'll think up next. If somebody wanted to, they, they're not here, they wanted to donate their, their resources as opposed to their own individual individual time. Is there on your Facebook page or your website somewhere they can go and they can donate? Absolutely. We are at perspectability.org. Obviously you can donate, fin donate financially, but we're also looking for experts in other fields. Sure. Um, absolutely. Please reach out to us on our website. There is a contact us form and you can donate financially, but you can also donate expertise. Would people be able to buy these t-shirts that you're talking about? We are definitely going to make that happen. Obviously, they are available only at the farm right now, but if there's some people out of town, we will make sure that they can get them. All right. We'll put some links down in the comments below if you guys have questions that you would like to know more about True Colors Farm and Perspectability and everything that they have going on. Check the link below. Of course, reach out to me and of course I can get you in touch with Miss Kelly. Thank you guys always so much for tuning in and thank you Miss Kelly for showing us a little bit more of what life is like in Bentonville. <laughs>